My research is in two areas. There's first the aerobiology, which is what we use these traps for, which is the counting of pollens and fungal spores in the air. And we also have an interest in what's in the home environment. And then I also do clinical mycology, which is where we look to see what fungi are in people's lungs, obviously with the thought that they've come in from the air. My research impacts on society in a number of ways. The most obvious one being that we produce the pollen counts that feed into the National Pollen Network, which is then used to produce the forecast that people hear on the news. And we also provide data to a European network for pollen counters. Then on the side of that, I work a lot with people with asthma and COPD, looking to see what airborne fungi they might be allergic to and what we can find in their airways. Jamestown, Virginia is one of the most important sites in US history. It's the site of the first permanent English settlement in the US. The Jamestown Rediscovery Group have been working there for a number of years and they've called me in to look at a particularly interesting burial. The reason why this burial is so interesting is because it's potentially that of Sir George Yardley. Now, Sir George Yardley was one of the early settlers of Jamestown and presided over the first representative government known as the Virginia General Assembly. So it's considered to be the birthplace of democracy in what became the United States of America. The condition of the remains look pretty good, but you simply don't know until you get into the lab whether or not you're going to be able to get usable DNA to work with. Working with ancient DNA is notoriously difficult, so what we need to do is simply work through the project methodically and see what the science tells us. On the recommendation of the Senate and Council, I present Sandy Toxvig that you may confer upon her the honorary degree of Doctor of Letters. When the great Beethoven had lost his hearing and could no longer enjoy his own wonderful music, he was found running through the streets of Vienna shouting, grab life by the throat. It is the best advice of all. Go change the world, I know you can do it, and by God it needs doing. Thank you very much.